Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrie's Thrifty Farmhouse. If you like decorating on a budget, you're in the right place. Today I'm excited to participate in another challenge. The theme today is Christmas scrapbook or wrapping paper, and I just have to use it in some way in my project. The hosts today are Annie from Indie Annie Jones and Eliza from Let's Do Something with Eliza. I'll link their channels in the description box below. They're both super quirky and fun, and I just love following them. Eliza does budget DIYs and some food videos too, and Annie does DIYs, but she also does a lot of live streaming, which I have tons of respect for. I don't even like to be in front of the camera, much less live, so yeah, mad props on that. But anyway, definitely go check out their channels. You won't be disappointed. Today I'm creating leaf floral picks out of buffalo plaid wrapping paper I scored from Dollar Tree. I started out by making a leaf template out of cardstock and I'm using it to draw about 30 leaves on some scrap cardboard. I think it's just a flap from an Amazon box, nothing special. I'm going to be covering them anyway so it doesn't really matter if there's a design. Next, I cut five to six inch lengths of floral wire and doubled them over. Then I'm using my glue gun, applying a small bit of glue to the folded over side of the wire and sticking it in one of the holes created by the perforated edges of the cardboard. I pressed firmly so that the board would be glued well to the wire. After that, I painted the edges of the leaves black. Since I'll be covering just the surfaces of the leaves with paper, the sides will show some, so this gives it a more finished look. I just used regular black acrylic craft paint today, and that worked just fine. Then it's time to add the paper. I'm using Mod Podge to adhere the paper to the cardboard. I put a generous amount on both the paper and the cardboard and then placed the cardboard down onto the paper. Honestly, I was probably a little too generous with the Mod Podge. It took forever to dry and there were a few spots where the color bled. So if you're gonna try this project, it would probably be enough to put Mod Podge just on the cardboard and stick it down that way. After gluing down the cardboard, I flipped the pieces over and applied more Mod Podge to the front. This hardens the surface and helps protect the paper from rips or scuffs. I was probably too generous with the Mod Podge here as well, but I modified my process for other batches. It took a few hours to dry, so I paused to make dinner and hang with the family, and then returned to trim off the edges. Then I followed the same process to adhere the paper to the back side of the leaves. I had learned my lesson, so this time I just applied the Mod Podge to the cardboard, and that was enough to stick it down to the paper. Then I flipped them over and put a thin coat on the front. I used the Mod Podge a little more sparingly here as well, and that worked great. They dried overnight, and then I trimmed the excess paper off around the edges. These little leaves are so cute, and they're pretty versatile too, and could be used in many different ways, but today I'm making a little wreath candle ring. I took the smallest wire wreath form from Dollar Tree, which comes in a pack of two, and wrapped it with one of the Dollar Tree evergreen garlands. One garland was the perfect length to wrap the full wreath form. I wrapped it rather loosely so that the resulting wreath was pretty full. Then I twisted the leaves together in groups of two and attached them to the wreath by winding the wire around a piece of the garland. I felt that six bunches of two looked really nice, and I started with two of the bunches directly across from each other and then filled in from there so that they were evenly spaced around the wreath. And here it is. I just love how this turned out. The red and black really stand out against the green, and it looks really nice around this graphite colored candle we had in our existing collection. You'll see I also added a couple of the leaves to this floral arrangement to tie the pieces together, and you might even catch a glimpse of the buffalo plaid cone tree I did in a previous video. I guess I have a little buffalo plaid theme going on here, so hopefully it stays on trend for a while. Thanks for joining me today. If you found me from the collaboration playlist, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. And be sure to hit the notification button so you will be notified when I upload future videos. I have lots more projects in the works and some great pieces that will help you transition from the holidays into the winter months. So keep your eye out for those. See you next time. Bye.